Okay, everybody. Now, since we still have this order work, or since we still have this order filled here on Intel, just before we get into the future side of things here, um, why don't we go ahead and go into how to maybe place like a bracket order on this uh, on this Intel uh, trade that we have here? So another place that we can manage a position from would be from the positions tab. I know I showed you all earlier how to do it from the right side panel. Again. In my opinion, that's the fastest way to do it. Um, it makes the platform the, the most efficient when you have the right side panel pulled out because there's really no reason for you to have to leave that trade screen at that point. But uh, you can also set up closing orders on open positions directly from your positions tab. So if we go ahead and select that, you'll notice now we're brought to our positions tab. If we left click on Intel, we now see our one share that we have filled. And let's say now maybe we want to set up a bracket order on this, you can do that directly from this screen. Once again, we're going to right click on the share. And then from the menu here, we're choosing the last option that says bracket. So go ahead and click on bracket. And then from here, this opens up your bracket order window. So we have a green close at profit box. We can adjust the price that we have submitted there. So maybe let's just go uh, $43. And then for the stop loss, you have two different options here. Um, since we are trading shares, you can either do a stop uh, limit order or a stop market order. Right now we have it set to stop market, um, but you can adjust that stop price by using this drop down menu right here. So if you wanna go to stop limit, choose limit from there. And you'll notice now an extra box appears and we have to set both a stop trigger and a stop limit price. So we could go ahead and make those adjustments here. Let's go ahead and set the stop limit at uh, 41.30. And then the stop trigger, we'll bump that down to uh, 41.50. 41 okay, so now once we're satisfied with those, we can also then change the time and force. Um, Right now we have this selected as good till cancel. You can also change those to like a day or a good till date order or even EXT. Well, EXT you can only use for the, the take profit portion of it. Unfortunately, you can't do, um, you can't route uh, stop orders in the extended hours session. So that's either going to have to be good till cancel day or good till date. Um, but for right now, we'll just leave them both as GTC orders. We'll go ahead and hit review and send and then send that order off. You'll notice now we have those two orders pending. Once again, we can adjust those um, from the chart as well. So if we go ahead and go back to our chart tab, we'll up Intel, and then we have, let's see here, I have to adjust the Y axis here to bring these a little bit closer, perfect. Okay, so if you, so that's a good, good example right there. If you're, uh, ever trying to trade on the charts and you can't see your working orders, you may have to adjust the Y axis. So in order to do that, um, you can just left click and hold, drag down to um, kind of widen that range. If you're looking to narrow that range and maybe uh, make your working orders a little bit more vis uh, visual or easier to see if they're laid on top of each other, you can go ahead and left click and drag up in order to widen that range, makes it a little bit easier to see those working orders. Um, but in any instance, we do have those uh, working orders displayed here and you can once again, adjust them from the chart. So again, you just left click, left click and hold and then drag and drop to adjust those orders. So it works the same way um, as it would with the normal uh, closing limit order. You can also adjust bracket orders or any stop order that you have on an underlying, you can adjust that from the chart as well.